What is that? Close that. Okay. Hey, you guys. Oh, I haven't done live in so long. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I just wanted to come say hello. Uh, no, I'm not gone. I'm still making videos. I, uh, well, that's relative. Not lately. As you know, if you saw my, I think one of the last videos I put up, I talked about us moving, and so we are in the throes of packing and getting everything ready and done for our move. So I am currently, we have pods, so we're currently loading up our pods uh, to get shipped away. We are going to be probably out of here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of give an update about what's been going on. I have, uh, good morning everybody live, hello, hello. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, just, I wanted to give an update about that and just, of course, live helicopters. That, don't, I guess my, I, I've been thinking so much about it because I've had a lot of people like asking me, why are you doing this? Why are you taking this giant leap uh, to move from Texas to Colorado? And, oh gosh, helicopters. I just wanted to encourage you, like, because I have to encourage myself, I guess. You have one life to live, right? And why not just take big chances because you just don't know what is in store for you in the future. And I really believe that there are good things in store for me and the kids in the future in our new adventures in Colorado. Uh, hello, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming and saying hi in the chat. I just, I felt so disconnected from you guys and I don't know it's been it's been on my mind and on my heart to just come on and share with you guys what's been going on uh, so as you know I have all of my shops my eBay Etsy all the stuff on vacation mode because it was going to be too much to get to be doing all of this homeschool the kids packing up looking for a place trying to get the house you know ready to for us to move out and you know there's ups and there's downs uh, and I do have moments of doubt, but I think about how much I've done in the last, I was talking to a friend, was it yesterday or the day before she came by? And I was thinking about how far I've come in such a short amount of time. If you'd asked me 10 years ago that I would be, you know, self-employed and I hate to say, I mean, I don't hate to, why do I hate to say it? I don't know why, but as successful as I am, you know, I'm not like successful, like successful like Elam but I mean for where I came from and what I've done and I just think and I was telling her because she's starting her eBay up again she's starting reselling again I was giving her some of my um, inventory that I was like I have way too much stuff please come take stuff um hi in the chat hello hello um and I was telling her because she was like this is what I want I want this I want because she homes her schools her kids too she's like I want to be financially independent and I'm like, you can. I mean, she's 10 years younger than me. So I'm like, if you want to be where I am now, you're 10 years younger than me already, and just go, do it. I mean, you just have to put your eye on the prize and like take the steps and the actions to get there, you know, and knowing you're going to do it. You can do it. It's doable. Like I was a teacher. I never thought I would quit teaching, you know? And then when I did, I was like, what now? You know, so this is what now. Um, so Colorado, yeah, I'm, we're going to Colorado. Who wants to hear a chainsaw? Um, is it a chainsaw? Anyway, yeah, we're going to Colorado, Denver area, Denver, Colorado Springs area. That's generally where we're going. And the reason I chose it, I know I shared it in the other video, um, was because we, we homeschool, right? And so we do a lot of traveling and road trips and like education through travel and we've done a lot of texas multiple times so i was like and my kids are getting older you know i've got a almost 13 year old and an almost 16 year old and it's time you know my time with them is so limited so the more i <laughs> sorry about that the more time that i can like squeeze in with them and have all these experiences in life with them the better and I have never lived pretty much anywhere outside of Texas. I lived in Utah for a brief nine months, maybe. Uh, so I wouldn't really call it that, but, and I was a minor, so. So getting to move to a place, experience all new things, see all new things, all new weather. That's the part I'm scared of, most scared about. Um, and just, yeah, I'm so excited about that. I, 
I'll probably be sharing more on my homeschool channel about like the kind of stuff we do for our homeschooling. I used to do a lot more of that, but I haven't been sharing as much as the homeschool stuff. But I mean, life is short and you don't know, like they say, you know, day is promised. So just God, jump out of your comfort zone and just go and do and live and, and it's, you know, take a leap of faith. So that's what we're doing. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I just wanted to come say hi because I missed everybody. I miss you guys so much and I miss making videos and I'm hoping because once we get everything loaded up, we're going to be basically like air mattressing it in the house. We're going to be back in Colorado in a couple weeks, like nailing. This is how scary this is. Not scary, but how you can call it dumb. You can call it whatever, but I don't, we don't have a place yet. <laughs> we have, we are loading a pod, getting ready to move and we have no idea where we're going. I have no idea. So in two weeks or so, it's about two, two and a half weeks, we're gonna be back in Colorado. And I'm just like, the laws of attraction, like our, the perfect place will be there. And I'm having faith that it will be there. And we're gonna find just the right, just the right spot for us. But I mean, we just had to pull the plug and do it. I'm missing the chat. So sorry if you said something or asked me something and I missed it. I'll figure out here in a second how I can go back. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just going and we're going to find a place. So we're going to rent first and then kind of figure out, is this, did we make a big giant? Um, yeah. Or like figure out what area we want to be in. And then from there we'll decide like, do we want to buy? Do we want to go somewhere else. I mean, like I said, life is short. You know what I used to always want to do? I haven't told too many people this. When I was teaching, I used to want, this is before I had kids or married or whatever. I, I used to want to go and teach overseas and I never got to do that. And so that, that travel bug is just there in me. And I think it's just the right time in life to just jump in and go do and see and everything. Okay. Let me go look in the chat. I know some people hate the live videos and they're like, Hey, when you talk to the people in the chat, how do I see this? How do I go back? Oh, Hey, there we go. Okay. Let me go back through the chat and then I'll call it and say, okay, good morning. Sorry. I can't figure out where the camera is. And y'all, this is, this is me, a mess, no makeup. Took uh, my, <laughs> we went to a show last night. We went to see Muna. And so this is after show up and packing and loading mess. So reality, how do I do that? How do I do it again? Hello, hello, Florida. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much. Happy for you and your family. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Crazy May, yay. Okay, I don't, I can't do this. Let's see. There we go. I'm very organized. I try to be. Hi, Mary. We're in Colorado. Okay, answer that. Uh, you've moved a lot. You'll be fine, but thank you. We'll be brave. I have moments though. I have moments. Beautiful in Colorado. You lived in Colorado Springs. Mountain views are so beautiful. I can't, yeah, that, that, the, we've been a few times, so I'm excited about that. <clears throat> I'm just so, I'm so excited. Okay. Homeschooling. One of the things that we do with our um, travels is we create scavenger hunts. This is part of how I homeschool them, which is, this is neither here nor there for, for, for reselling, but it's so fun. So we have these like blank books that we get at Target that usually at the beginning of school time, if you've seen them, they're like square. And we take those and we decide on a place where we're gonna go and we create like, we do research about the place and we create a scavenger hunt. So when we get there, everybody has their book and we're looking for like, okay, where was this? Where was that? And like anything cool we find and pictures we find and you know, and so we're gonna do more stuff like that. So we've been kind of researching different things it sounds cheesy, but it's so fun. It makes visiting different places like way more meaningful. Um, <clears throat> okay, here we go. You lost your job in March. Turned out to be a really good thing. Yeah, you just never know. Good luck or bad luck, right? Until it could be the best thing, right? Uh, hey, from Vegas. We're hoping to get to Vegas this summer because we have one more Meow Wolf. We haven't been to the Vegas Meow Wolf. Best to rent before buying, living somewhere before renewing. Don't fear. Yes, something is drawing us to move. Totally. I can't wait. It's, I mean, ask me tomorrow or tonight and I'll be like, what am I doing? Oh uh, yeah. Check up Bishop's Castle. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Hello, hello. Wherever you land. Are we, no, we decided we're going to rent the house here uh, in Texas. Karen was asking if we're going to sell the house. So we're renting the house here <clears throat> just in case, right? Um, because if it doesn't work out and we're like, what do we do? We have a place to come back. 
and it also gives the kids a little, because they have, you know, I told them, your emotions are going to be normal. You're going to be up, down, just like me, you know, thinking, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? And then just excited. So this kind of gives them like um, an anchor, like, look, our home is still here. So worst case scenario, we just turn around and we come back home. Yeah. This move will get, be good for the kids to get to experience so many, oh yeah, things that Texas doesn't have to offer. I'm very excited for them, you know, because we do, like I said, we've road tripped. We've road trip from to Louisiana, Arkansas, all around Texas multiple times. And the cool thing about what I do is that I can do that. And so, <coughs> excuse me, concerts at Red Rocks. And that's, my kids are just at that age. I love going to shows and they're starting to get into it. And so I'm very excited about going to, to go see shows. Like I said, we went to see Muna last night. That was so fun. <coughs> excuse me. Okay. I guess that's it. I should probably get back to work. We lucked out. It was super humid and sticky hot yesterday, and then a cold front came through, and so now it's nice and cool. I'm very excited. Uh, what else? We have a property manager coming later because I know I can't manage a rental from another state, so I'm checking that out. And if you're if you're from Colorado or you live in snowy, snowy places, cold places, any advice you have, I would love it because seriously, I've never. I have walked on snow, but I have never lived in snow. I've never, I don't know anything about it. And so that's, that's the one thing that I'm the most concerned about is the weather and the cold. Cause I'm from Texas. It's like hot all, almost all the time. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Oh yes. As a Missouri person, I'd love for you to come visit here, live here. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, that's what I was telling the kids after a year, we may decide like, Maybe you want to go somewhere else. Why not? I mean, another friend of mine who homeschools their, her kids and she works uh, remotely, they're RVing it now. I mean, they are going all over the place. So the kids are homeschooling and they've been, I mean, just in the last couple months, they've been all over New Mexico to the Grand Canyon. They're in California now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get some, it's my coffee acid reflux. Get some coats before you leave. They're much cheaper in Texas. True right? The RV life, right, Mary? And they're just, I mean, I love it. I don't, I, oh, that's a whole different topic, but I know some, some people see other people doing fun, nice things, and they take it as like, you're trying to rub it in their face, but I don't see it that way. Like, I get so excited and happy for my friends when they're successful, or when they're doing fun things, or when they're traveling, or like, I'm so happy for them, and so excited for them, and yeah, I'm like, I want to do that too, but not like, I feel like, you know, there's a difference, but it, it's weird to me that some people get jealous, but I'm like, just go do it then. You know, I, I started this from nothing and here I am, you know, so go do it. Why not? We all have our hair see you. <laughs> okay, you guys, I guess I should go, but enjoy. And I missed, uh, like I said, I missed talking to you guys and you know, this is sort of a, a bunny a bunny kind of video, but I'll, I'll see you uh, later. And thanks so much. i oh, probably four years from you move back because, oh yeah, there's so many different places. Like my sister was, uh, I said I was signing off and here I go again. My sister lived in Colorado for a while and she um, was telling me some of like Ure and she was living in, in Montrose. And so she was telling me some really cool stuff. So I'm trying to get her to come in the summertime and show us. Cause she's like, you gotta go here. You gotta go there. I'm like, no, no, no. I want to go experience it with you. I want you to come and show me what you love about it. So, okay, I'll go now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming to hang out in the chat and everything. And have a great, great day, you guys. Bye.